Okay you guys, I did some velocity testing here. And what I used was the Daisy 880 and the Daisy Grizzly. On the right side is your Daisy Grizzly, it's a single pump. And on the left side is a Daisy 880 10 pump. And what I tested was these BBs, your standard 5.3 grain BB and your dust devil which are fragmentational BBs, they're supposed to be 10% faster. That is true sometimes, but not all the time, because if you look at the BB, there's a ring right there, and that fits in the bore. Now, if that ring's lined up perfectly, it'll probably be 10% faster than a standard BB, like it says on the box, but that isn't always the case. Um, one thing to note about BBs is not just this one, but standard BBs. Whenever they're down the barrel, the BB is always undersized. So if you look down a, just a plain barrel off the rifle, and if you look down with BB in it, you can see light through the other side around the edges of the BB. That's called blow-by. So when you pull the trigger, the air rushes around the BB. All BBs do this. Some of the air rushes around the BB, so you lose velocity with BBs. And that's why a 5.3 grain BB sometimes has a lower velocity than a 5.3 grain pellet, like an alloy pellet, lead-free pellet. It's because a pellet has two seals and a BB only has one seal down the bore. So I wanted to show you guys some velocities I got here and how they compare. Here's the 5.3 grain standard BB. Here's the dust double right here. And let me show you quick picture of Dust Devil right there. These are good, but I think they're only good as far as shooting objects that are hard so that the BB doesn't come back. And also so you don't destroy your pellet trap, which is this right here. If I was going to shoot this pellet trap with BBs now, I would be perfectly fine with that because the BBs won't damage the metal. And you can see my friend, when I first got this many, many years ago, he was shooting BBs at it, and it gets a lot of dents. This is meant for pellets. But now that we got dust devils, it gives us the advantage to not only shoot this, but, but to actually shoot indoors, because the dust devil's gonna hit, it's gonna hit the metal, and it's gonna blow up. So you're not gonna have a lot of mess. You're not gonna have a lot of bounce back. Probably none at all, because I think it's going to spatter sideways instead of come back. So that's what we need dust doubles for. They're a great idea, but they're not really a great idea for speed and energy <clears throat> because of the fact that the 5.3 grain, if you look here, similar velocity, you got more weight here, so that's going to provide more energy downrange. But uh, so here's the Daisy 880. Here's the grain weight to the BB. We got the regular and the dust double. Here's one pump. We got 252, 253. Now I could do a shot string of 10. I've already done that before. And kind of found similar results that the BBs from the dust double or dust double BBs and the regular BBs were about the same. So we go to two pumps, we got 382, 389. So in this case, yes, it was a little faster. But then if you look down here, no. So there's no consistency really with the 4.3 because of the fact that you got that ring that's around the BB. So you never know, know where it's going to be setting in the bore. So there's the 880. Down here, 5.3, 4.3. This is a Grizzly. So we got 294 for the standard BB. And we got 292 for the Dust Devil. So you can see that the Daisy Grizzly being a one pump has a little bit more power than one pump on the DZ-880, but not two pumps. So let me show you these rifles again. This is the Grizzly right here. That'll be on your left side. Your left side there is the, the Grizzly. Okay. And then the DZ-880. Right side. No, left side. There you go. Well, anyway, you know what they say, people screw up left and right all the time. I was in the Army, believe it. Believe it or not, we do it sometimes. 
right and left. Left is the Daisy 880, right is the Grizzly, Daisy Grizzly right there. Single pump, 10 pump. Okay, so now what I decided to do is I know one pump wouldn't do much. So what I did is I did a test with uh, two pumps to see what it would do to wood in a soup can. So if you notice on here, uh, the 4.3 grain dust devil in the standard BB. If you look at it here sideways, you'll see that half the BB is in the pine board. And if you look at the grain here, you can tell the way the grain is. So if you shoot, you want to make sure the grain is this way so you can do your test. But you can see that the BB is almost halfway submerged on both. And if you look here, two pumps, it's uh, 282 feet per second. And this one here is, or no, 382 and 389. Sorry about that. So typically about 380 and around 420, maybe somewhere around there. A standard BB is going to be half embedded into the pine. Once it gets fully embedded or flush, it's usually about 400 to 425. So that gives you guys an idea. If you need a crony, you can use a piece of wood as a crony now. Some, uh, you know, to some degree, not with any perfection, but some degree you can use it. So there's the wood test right there. And it's not to say that these wouldn't come back. They probably would, you know, on some shots would probably hit and maybe bounce out a little. And that does happen typically with two pumps sometimes. So now let's get on with the soup can. Okay, so if you look at the top there, that's the standard BB, 5.3 grain. Dust doubles on the bottom. Dust double did not fragment, by the way, because it only fragments on, on something that's harder than itself. So if the metal you're shooting isn't harder than itself, it ain't going to fragment. It will fragment on 28-gauge stovepipe metal, metal. So it just depends on, you know, if you're shooting metal, rocks, steel. It's got to be something much, you know, really dense and really hard for it to shatter. But as far as the soup can, both of these went all the way through. If you look on the other side here. And I did it twice with the dust double just to make sure. So they both went through, and uh, the other can behind it, it didn't really do a whole lot. So, and you guys have to remember, um, if you're shooting this can, make sure it's a Walmart uh, vegetable can, like uh, green beans or peas or something, because this metal's a lot thinner than Libby's and the other common, I guess you'd say upgraded brands of vegetables that cost more. Uh, the, the steel is actually thicker on the outside of the can, too, so that's something to take note of. <clears throat> it takes a little more velocity to get through. So this here, you're looking at uh, two pumps. Went through both sides of the soup can. So this is just something for you guys to crony if you ever want to find out. If you have a 1910 or some, some other BB gun that I don't have, you can kind of get an idea how fast the BB's going. So let's look right here again. Look at two pumps. So we got... Oh, excuse me if I said 280 or whatever, but I meant 382 and 389. So once again, we got the standard BB. We got the dust double here. And a lot of these videos that you guys see me do, I don't, I just do it cold turkey. I don't plan or edit. So there are going to be mistakes sometimes. So you guys just have to take note of that. So, because if you notice uh, people doing videos, uh, whether it's gun videos, air gun videos, you ever notice you'll look at the screen and you'll see, little times when you see the video cut out a little that's where they're doing edits I don't usually do edits because I feel no need for that so it's no big deal I'm not gonna cut and splice video if I don't have to but uh, yeah so here we are and then my crony setup is just right here on the table and then I've got a 20 white L or 20 watt LED light right there 20 watts and it's on a little speaker standing up and then it's right over the diffusers right here. Sometimes you have to shut up, shut off the lights in the room so that you don't get contamination of the reading. And then there we got some uh, duct seal that's used by electricians to plug, plug holes and things like that. Electrician's duct seal, it's called. It's $3 for a big blob like this. And it's amazing because it'll stop a high-velocity pellet within 
like a quarter inch, sometimes even less depending on the pellet. So this stuff really, it catches pellets really good and they don't go in that deep. So it's really a good product uh, to catch BBs and pellets. So, but anyway, and then of course I've got your regular cutting board right there and then it's clamped with a wood clamp. So anyway, I just wanted to let you guys know that some of that information. And <clears throat> now you got the crony results here that some of you have been looking for with either the Daisy or the Daisy 880 for three pumps or uh, the Grizzly for one pump. So now you know what you're looking at and you can tell what the power difference is now uh, between these two, especially one pump with uh, the Grizzly because it's only a one pump. And then you got one pump here for the test for the 880. So but anyway, thanks for watching you guys.